a bent bale spike and I'm going to go ahead and uh, heat shrink this to get it back to shape. I'm not going to heat work it, I'm just going to heat it right up in here on this side of it to get it to, once it, you know, when it shrinks, it'll uh, pull that back. Now what I've got on it now is some tension, which is what you call restriction. Uh, you have to restrict this or it won't shrink. In other words, if you just heat that without this on there, it'll expand, contract, no net gain, it'll go right back to the shape it was. But if you've got restraint on it, when it expands, it has nowhere to go, so that when it retracts, it's going to pull. I'm using a pretty high-powered torch here, so I can put a lot of heat into it in a hurry, and then I'll probably wet it down to get the desired shrinkage. Might have to do this a couple times. It takes a while. It's a slow process. This is a uh, propane or uh, propane uh, oxygen torch. Now I gotta put this down. It's a half million BTU torch. Pretty radical torch, actually. But it does the job. We got to fix up the heat. Okay, we're just gonna heat this. Well, it's back there. On the convex side. And we'll heat it to a dull red. That's that's kind of long, that's pretty fast. That's two and a quarter inch uh, pole bolt. So it's, it's pretty good chunk of steel. You see how I'm not going anything but just on the side we want to sink. That's why it's stuck here. Sometimes I heat it a little too much, but not very often. Uh, the goal red you want is uh, in the cage. Well, it works hitting it right now. Where the nice gold red. You go into orange or white, and you're going to ruin that metal. Okay, now we'll hit it with some water. Now we'll heat her again. Coming back up to camp, so I don't take all the heat out of it. I 
have to do this every so often. I've got a ton of people trying to lift the top of it in the tail pipe. But uh, if it sounds like I'm talking loud, it's because I'm wearing a lip like this is an extremely loud place. I still haven't gone beyond the red stage. There we go. See how that's slack now? That's all it took. Now I'll let some pressure off of it because you can go too far. I think so far we're good. We've brought her back pretty close. Just need a tad more. I'm going to cool that down a little bit more because it want to be a little gentler next time. It might even be enough to just the weight of the chain might pull it down just a little bit. But this won't work without some force. I mean guys will tell you it will, but it doesn't. You have to either have weight or a restraining force on that steel. See, we're still getting quite a bit of steam out of it. There we go. That ought to bring it back for now. We're close. All right, let's go put just a little bit of stress on it now. And that's all I'm doing with this is just stress. It, it's not... I'm not putting tons and tons of force on it. It's just whatever this little come along will do. Okay, I'm just barely, barely, barely got any on it now. Just enough to put, see, I've got a little bit of stress on that line. Now we'll heat her again. This will be what, I think the third go around. These are expensive to run, by the way. Uh, that's 125 cubic feet, and I think, as a rule, I might get three to five minutes actual heating time out of that. Well, shoot. Well, I can get her going. There we go. The wind's blowing that gas away. It's a pretty windy day today. Ah, we're fired up. You want to be careful. This has a back. This has a spark arrestor on it. A back low preventer, or whatever they call them. But you still have to be pretty careful and bring them up to speed slow. A little bit of fuel, a little bit of oxygen, just working that up. But otherwise, you blow that flame out and get a big old pop, and then you go right back down in the. Uh, Back down in that hose towards the tank. That's not good. Well, I don't Take a ton of heat. Uh, oh, I've got some charts somewhere on the website. Three times 1100 degrees is the max you want to go on there. Because uh, you can change the characteristics of the steel. You can go much beyond that. Change the grain structure. Okay, let's put it in. You can see we didn't get her as hot. Let's put a little water on it.
it's a process you have to be careful with. You can go too far, so you're just taking little steps like we're doing now. Now I could have heat worked this, just heated the whole thing white hot, just bent it actually by hand. But I thought this might be kind of fun for people to see. Put a little stress on that. to go too far. Now we're good. Go a little further maybe, but boy, it's, I could see it starting to move. I'll put some more pressure on it now because it's still hot and it's still in the process of shrinking. As long as there's some heat in it. Uh, see if I can get hooked up here. There we go. Came unhooked. <laughs> 